Part 2. Grammar and Capitalization A sentence is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, and expresses a complete thought. A sentence begins with a capital letter and ends with a period. These are sentences. Number 1. He is a student. Number 2. It is hot today. Number 3. He looks tired. Number 4. Are you hungry? Number 5. Who's there? Number 6. Hurry. Number 7. The man bought a new car. Number 8. Does your sister live with you? Number 9. Where did you buy that hat? Number 10. Don't be late. Number 11. Is very athletic. There is no subject. English requires a subject in every sentence. Exception are the command sentences. Next topic. So, corrected of number 11 is he is very athletic and he is the subject. Number 12. The baby sleepy. There is no verb in this sentence. English requires a verb in every sentence. Let's take a look at the corrected version. The baby is sleepy. Number 13. The man bought. This is not a complete thought. What did the man buy? Many verbs in English require an object. An object is a noun or pronoun that follows a verb. The corrected version of number 13 is The man bought a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee is an object. Remember, an object is a noun or pronoun that follows a verb. Number 14. When I finish my education. This is not a complete thought. What will happen when I finish my education? If the following words comes in the beginning of a sentence, it is only half of a sentence. When, if, and because. You must join it to another subject and verb to make a complete thought. The corrected version of number 14 is, When I finish my education, comma, I will work for my uncle. Command sentences. If a sentence gives you a command or instruction, we understand that the subject is you, but we don't say or write you. The verb in a command sentence is always in the simple form. Stop, go, wait, be, eat. To make a command negative, put don't in front of the verb. Let's look at the commands. Be quiet. Wait for me. Peek slowly. Notice, in each of this, the subject is you, but we do not say or write you. We understand that the subject is you. Let's take a look at negative commands. To make a command negative, put don't in front of the verb. So the command in this case would be eat so much. To make this command negative, don't eat so much. The command in the next example is forget to call home. To make this negative, put don't in front of the verb forget, and it becomes don't forget to call home. And the third example is don't worry.